Now look, we took a photo, and I want you just to please check it out. I swear. Sure, and I'll go ahead and show the. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Riley Jones, and I'm the host of In The Bag. Today, we got the first guest, Diego Chavez. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Diego Chavez, and I'm a magician. I've been doing it for about three years now. All right, man, well, let's get straight into it. Let's sure. see your first trick you got. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people think that everything a magician has is fake, right? Mm. So I'm gonna give you my ring, okay? All right, Go ahead and check it out, thank you so much. I'm just kidding, go ahead and check it out. Make sure it's entirely what it seems to be. Does it come apart? Does it disappear? And most importantly, I mean, do you see any holes on it? I do not see a hole on it. Except, except for that one, right? <laughs> nah, that's, that joke is 2,000 years old. Don't fall for that. <laughs> so here's what we'll do. Basically, it's my lucky ring, which means that every time I take it off, it goes right back on just like that. Look, but I'll do it again. This time I'll do it in slow motion. Okay, watch close. Ready? Yeah, yeah. I said it was gonna be in slow motion. Yeah. I didn't say it was gonna be any good, right? <laughs> look, but if I was gonna take it off, it wouldn't look like that. No, no, no. It would look like this. You watch it? Yeah, I got you. And it goes straight off. Now, that's the thing. A lot of people think it's the ring, right? It's actually not the ring, it's actually the finger. It might have been a little hard to see, but you see the point, right? Do me a favor. Hold your hands out like that. Uh, maybe a little bit higher. Perfect. Hold this one right up there. Now, don't move. Watch. I'm gonna drop this ring, mm -hmm. and it's gonna land on your hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in on top of your hand. Yo! <laughs> what the heck? I <laughs> swear. <laughs> Sometimes on a good day, right? On a good day, what we can do is we can actually take the ring. You guys see it? Uh huh. One, two. Get it to move all through <laughs> the fingers just like that. <laughs> I promise. And then, of course, you can check that out to make sure it's entirely what it Man. seems to be. Are, are you a robot? <laughs> Jeez. And I'll take that back because my mother, my mother gave me that one. So. <laughs> I guess we'll start the interview now. Uh, so first question, we're gonna reach in the bag. So go ahead, go ahead, and reach in. Reach in. Yeah. Just pick, pull whatever. Pick some, pull whatever out, man. Okay. I'm throwing some round. It's orange. an orange. <laughs> All right. Just kind of thought it was a lemon at first. All right, so man, first question. What got you into doing magic? So, um, basically, I've been on and off with magic for for a while. Mm. And uh, what happened was in uh, second grade, my dad showed me a trick. Mm. It was a really, really simple trick. He used a piece of paper. And uh, I was, he showed me, and it was basically like he was like using the force to move it or something. Mm. But in reality, he was moving the paper with his thumb. So obviously, you know, it looked good, but the the method was so simple. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I took that trick and I and I did it in show and tell the next the next day. And uh, basically, uh, it was awful, by the way. It definitely did not work. Everybody called me out on it. It was terrible. But it's second grade, so I wasn't any good. And uh, so I've been on and off. I always liked it. It wasn't until freshman year of high school where I brought a deck of cards to school and I remembered a trick and I performed it you know it didn't turn out too bad so after that you know I'm like I'll come back I'll do another one and then after that you know I just kept learning and kept learning there you go I'm addicted to it now I have to dedicate my life to it you know what I mean? who's been your biggest inspiration while growing up my biggest inspiration has been his name is Rob Lake and he's an illusionist and he basically tours all around the world. He's actually helping me right now. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He uh, actually went to Oklahoma for, for two days to go to his warehouse. Mm. So yeah, he's been training me because I met him actually in Germany uh, about two, two years ago. So ever since then, he's always been helping me out. So that's how, that's how I've improved greatly because of that guy. Mm. So. What's been your favorite experience so far while doing magic? My favorite experience? Uh, I basically felt like a star for a day, and I mean, uh, so there's a there's a pilot show called Ordinary to Extraordinary, mm -hmm. and basically, it's it's where they take people that have, you know, special talents, and they have like strong passions, and they basically sponsor them or like work on them for a solid year. They basically 
you know, give them that support that they need. Like if they didn't have that much money, they would have that support. That way they can build up their talent and their passion. And that's what they did to me. So I was submitting videos like all the time, you know, they, they were like financially helping me, mm -hmm. you know, to buy some of the things because magic is actually pretty expensive. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> and uh, so they're real, they're real helpful. And uh, one time they had a, a film crew follow me around for a day. Really? Yeah. So definitely that's, that's probably been the best experience just because I felt like a star, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I got to ask, uh -huh. do you have a magic wand? I do. That's crazy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually I do. I have the, oh, I didn't bring it with me. Every, you should have told me about it, then I could have brought it. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's an eight foot wand. It's just chilling in my room right now. It's literally doesn't even fit in my room. How'd you get it in? Oh, you pulled it through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember, it's a magic wand, so, you know. Yeah, disappears. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, man, next question. What's your favorite card trick to perform? My favorite... Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show oh, you. you. Show yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about where I perform. Okay. Every, just about every night, I perform at a bar. Mm -hmm. All right, that's kind of like the environment that I'm yeah. in. Right? And uh, basically what happened here, I'm going to actually do the trick as I'm yeah. telling you the story. So go ahead and grab one out for me. Okay. And actually there's one time I was doing a trick to this guy and he was, he was pretty disruptive, right? And he was kind of like a, he was a heckler, right? That's <laughs> what I mean. So uh, I asked him to pick a card, okay? And I obviously wanted to do a trick that was simple because I always have to warm up with something. Mm. So I told him to pick a card. In this case, you picked a card. Go ahead and show it to the cameras. I will not look. I will close my eyes. He kissed this. I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. All right, perfect. Okay, you got it? Awesome, mm. I can't see it? Perfect, okay. I'm gonna take it back, but not yet. Okay. All right. Before we do, I wanna show you that you could have gone for one of these. Mm -hmm. You could have gone for one of those. Right. You could have gone for one of these. Or you could have gone for some of those. Mm -hmm. The truth is, is that you could have had any card, right? Right. And here's what we're gonna do. Before I put your card back in the deck, I'm gonna tell you exactly what this guy did. Mm -hmm. I gave him a card to pick, and I told him to put it back in the deck. But when I gave the cards to him to shuffle, he did something else. <laughs> he basically mixed the cards in oh. to where they're all like that. He was oh, a heckler. He's a heckler. <laughs> So he did this, right? And when he see we have this mess, right? Mm -hmm. But I told him that, you know, we can always make something work, okay? Because I'm a magician. Right. So I always try to play things off the way they are. So I put the card in somewhere in the center. You guys can see that. Just like that. And just to be fair, and at this point, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just knew <laughs> that I had to make it, you know, I had to make something work or else it wouldn't be good. So I told him I'd shuffle it up one more time exactly how he did it. Dang, that's like that 52 car pickup. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you see those cards are really being mixed in, right? Yeah. From all sides. And now actually, here I have my phone for you. I want you just, we're going to take a picture, okay? We're going right. to capture this moment. And I told him that we're going to have photo proof of this. That way he would believe everything, mm -hmm. right? So do me a favor, take the camera for me real quick. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to take a picture, okay? You care of selfie, selfie panoramic portrait? <laughs> okay. No, I got you. Look, actually, no, nah, we'll do it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it back from you. All I need you to do is hold your hand out like this towards me. Perfect. Just like that and kind of grab all those cards. Perfect. Hold it like this. That way the camera can get it mm -hmm. perfect. And you guys, and you can see all the cards are mixed in, right? Yeah. And basically, this is what I showed him. It made no sense, but this is what I showed him. Do me a favor, smile. Awesome. Now we're going to look at that in a, in a quick second, okay? All right. But I told him that if I snap my fingers and that all the cards were reversed except for his. And I asked him if he would be impressed, right? Right. And of course he said yes because he purposely tried to mess me up, right? Yeah. So basically I did it, right? I snapped. And then I told him to spread those cards out. Would you mind spreading the cards out? Yeah, yeah. And obviously it wouldn't work, right? Because they're still they're still in face up, face down. They're still they still have this mess. Mm -hmm. But I told him we had photo proof of that moment. Now look, we took a photo, and I want you just to please check it out. I swear. Sure, and I'll go ahead and show the camera. <laughs> 
and my mind, you can see. My, my mind is playing tricks. With... Just like that. There's one card in the whole deck of cards that has been reversed just to capture that moment. I just got a whole sense of chills going down my <laughs> arms. Got goosebumps. Oh, man. So, uh, to answer your question, that's my favorite trick. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Reaching and picking another food another item. Another food item? Let's see. Okay. Now I'm feeling something squishy, something not so squishy. <laughs> that's what makes me nervous. Oh, man, not the. Oh. <laughs> you got it, no. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Is that, is it, are these the ones that are like all flavored? Oh, we're gonna have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't even like candy to begin with. <laughs> okay. So how's it gonna work? Do you wanna grab one first or am I grabbing one first? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab one. Hey, actually, grab a couple, grab a couple. <laughs> you asked me to put a whole load of grab a couple. flavored jelly beans. <laughs> Alright man, you wanna go three, two, one, and go? Oh wait, how many you got? We gotta make a pair. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we can make a pair. I got four, I got four. Alright, I got four now. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna take one now. Alright. All right. Three, Hang two. on, I wanna trade one. You wanna trade? Yeah, I wanna, this one looks like, like poop, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. give you that one. I like that. Is this your jelly bean? <laughs> no. Bro. <laughs> Alright. Three, two, one. I'm so glad we got one over here. Oh! It's a mix of like booger, death. All of the above. Bro, all, I'm, all I know is that it feels like I... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there you go. But I got you. <laughs> I'll take the chili pepper, man. I got... <laughs> this hurts. You just, you just can't think about it. Does this actually work? If you uh, cover your nose? Ah. It ain't working, man. <laughs> I don't think so, man. I'm just trying to like change it, like think in my mind that it's like cake or something, or that hopefully it changes. But it's not working. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. Ooh. Oh, dude, that one had to be garbage. That was garbage flavored or something, bro. <coughs> no. Oh, where's the? Let me just fish on the. I'm actually not sweating because it's hot in here. I'm sweating because it's so disgusting. <laughs> Is there any advice you can give to aspiring magicians out there watching this? Don't eat jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely to believe in yourself because it's very easy as an entertainer to have people criticize you and belittle you. It literally takes one thing, one you know, negative mindset to put you in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So if you believe in yourself, then it's there's no there's no way you cannot succeed. You know what I mean? It's like if you have a negative mindset, you you basically you're basically carrying a backpack, and every time you have one negative thought, you're just putting more weight in that backpack. So if you just believe in yourself and think positively, then you know you're running with wings basically. I never heard anyone say that before. That was wise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think you know what you have to do, soldier. Uh. Ah. Yeah, exactly what I what I. So if you don't nice know, pepper. if you don't know, those are Serrano peppers. Serrano peppers. Or at least that's what they said at Walmart. <laughs> okay, so we are we're not we're not eating the whole thing, right? Not not okay. if you don't want to. Hang on, this is the bigger one. You take the bigger. One. <laughs> All right. So uh, we'll eat. I don't know about that much. Just take a little bite, all right? We're yeah, not I got you. <laughs> okay, ready? All right, three, two. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers. No. Man, I'm already crying, bro. Yeah, I might as well go all into it now. Oh, 
No, no, That's like another bite. Took a bite, man. That second bite, not a good idea. And if there was a commercial break, I would put it right now. But there's no commercial. Oh, my God. It just, I don't know if I'd bring it up. Oh my God. Bro. I can't even talk. Oh, it hurt. I'm talking and it hurts. Uh. Uh. I thought the banana would would help. Was not. It's maybe a little bit. It's definitely soft. Ah. Ah. Mm. All right, man. I guess I'll go into a question. <laughs> All right, man. Who would you collab with as a magician? Rob Blake. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> God, I can't even tell. It's like ointment uh, to my mouth, bro. Like this been. Oh. Uh, oh. I did not think it was gonna be this hot. Oh, I, mean, I thought it was gonna be hot, but I didn't think it was gonna be this hot. Dude, I would prefer the chili pepper. Oh my god. Oh, just the, the more the more I drink, the worse it gets. And you can't breathe out because if you breathe out, it makes it hot, like me. Like if I'm talking right now, it hurts a lot more. Like right now, it's hurting a lot. More. Oh. Whoa. All right. So why do you do magic? I do magic because. Oh, this is so hard. Um, basically, because everybody goes through something. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude, I can't even talk, bro. <laughs> I've never eaten a banana that fast before. To be all like serious and stuff, I didn't start uh, magic because of like how it makes people feel. I only started because of how it made me feel. And it made me feel like I had, you know, like I had more attention from people, from showing them, you know, cool things that they haven't seen. You know, over the years that I've been doing it, I've come to realize there are people that have never experienced wonder or like you know how kids do when you when kids see magic they get this oh my god like oh magic is real they automatically believe in magic dude but when you show an adult they're they're always gonna think that there's no wonder and there's no that there's no magic and so whenever I perform to people you know what, that was the worst question to ask after a chili pepper, bro. When people see me perform, they get this feeling of wonder that you can't really get with anything else because they're, they're basically seeing what they used to believe as a kid. So, as a, for a kid believing in, like, Santa Claus, it's so normal to them because they, they believe it, that he's real. But for an adult to believe something that they haven't seen before is... Is that feeling of wonder that makes them feel like a child, makes them feel like, you know, maybe there is magic and happy and not happiness, but there's magic in, in something that they don't know. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're experiencing something that they would, that they'd never believed in. Mm. So that's, that's really how I do it. Or that's why I do it. Mm. Cause you know, it gives everybody that feeling of wonder. And that's definitely what, what made me fall in love with it. You're like, all right. I want to do magic as, not as a, I mean, also as a hobby, but as a career as well. When, when was that 
point in your life that um well the thing is i <laughs> i've I've started pointing out things that are true in my life. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's the easiest way to figure something out. You just point out what's true. And the truth is, knowing myself, I don't like to do anything else. Like, I, I don't like math. You know, I, I'm terrible at math. You know, I don't really like reading too much unless it. I have to do it for like magic purposes if I want to learn a new skill. But uh, come to realize that the truth is, I only like being able to show people something crazy okay yeah. and that's why I don't I don't like to do any other things I don't like having a normal job I don't like doing anything else but but magic and and that's why I want to make it my career because it's the only thing not the only thing I'm good at but it's it's the main thing I'm good at it's kind of it's me mm-hmm. you know and what's the biggest lesson you've taken away from doing magic the biggest lesson is that having confidence even if it's fake confidence, will make you into a way better person. And what I mean is like, even if you fake the confidence, as long as you go up to people and you show them that you know, you're know you bold and you're daring, then it's gonna make you way better socializer. It's gonna give you connect connections. It's gonna literally be the key to the rest of your success. So we, oh dang, all the cards are still face up, face down. Do not try that at home. Face up, face down. Oh. Jeez, man, we saw all the cards face up, face down. <laughs> But you know what happens? Every time people ask me, um, you know, if I drop the cards, what do I do? Yeah. I pick them up. <laughs> but hang on. Before, after I pick them up, you guys can obviously see that the cards are mixed in face up, face down, face up, face down, face up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that, you can feel that, that card's face up, right? You can feel it. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, right? But you can actually feel it. Okay. And the crazy part is, is that seeing all the cards are mixed in, right? Face up, face down. What we can do What that does is it just uh, You're scaring me. <laughs> you see? So to be honest, I never have a chaotic pack of cards because I, I just, you know, fix it. <laughs> just like that. It's been a crazy interview. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the audience? Um definitely as an entertainer, not just a magician, you want to show people yourself. Like for, for me, magic. Magic is just a tool. Entertain people with you. Magic is just the, the 10% of the 90% that you have to be showing people. Once people find out and figure that out, that you know, it's not the skill that's important, it's showing yourself and your personality to people. That's what people have to you know, carry with them. And that's what, who people remember is you. They don't remember the magic. Because they could, they could say, oh, did he do this trick or did he do that trick? But in the end, they'll remember you for whatever you did. Yeah. All right, man. So this is how we're going to sign out. <laughs> you're going to say your name and you're going to say it. My name and I'm in the bag. My name's Diego Chavez and I'm in the bag. <laughs> <laughs>